today I'm going to walk you through the steps in order to create this. Now I have no 3D modeling experience. All I do is create my package design inside of Adobe Illustrator and then upload it using a software I found online that I personally have really enjoyed using. It is called Pactora. This is a premium software. There may be other options out there. However, this is just what I found really works for me. I really love the 3D scenes and the modeling and all of the die lines that they have available. So that's what I'm using for this tutorial today. I'm gonna to break this video into three parts, starting with the concepts, the execution, and then the 3D modeling. My entire thought process behind this package design is that I want it to be a little bit more fun and up to date than some of the other ones currently on the market. And this was purely inspired by my current snack addiction for cheese straws. To get started, you can click the link in the description and download this die line template. Now, if you don't have a premium subscription to Pactora, I am not sure if you'll be able to download this or if you have to pay for it. So just keep that in mind. For those of you that are unfamiliar with die lines, the outer edge is the bleed line. This is where your artwork, especially the background color should extend to. And then within that, we have the trim line, your important text, your important information, nutrition facts, all that good stuff should sit comfortably inside that trim line with a lot of negative space around the text to give it some breathing room. And the red line is the crease and or fold line. After you open up this document on your computer in Adobe Illustrator, you can double click and delete the white background. And then you're also going to want to click on the actual outer bleed line itself and delete that white fill so that this die line is completely transparent and you'll be able to see your artwork underneath. You can then open up your layers panel and lock the current layer and label it guidelines. You can then create two more layers and drag them below the guidelines layer. These are going to be your text and design elements and or background layers. I'm now going to lock the text layer and using the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle and fill it with a cream yellow color to start with the background. I'm then going to use the polygon tool and insert a number three to create some triangles. This is the fun part where I just start playing around with different colors and duplicating triangles and seeing how they work best on this package design. Now that I've got my main design elements in the background, it's time to start adding the important information like barcodes, logo, title, net weight, and for the purpose of this project, I just have some filler text in here, but if this was a real client project, obviously there would be more information. Now I feel like this is in a good spot, but it seems a little one dimensional. So I'm going to actually make a copy of this cheese block. I'm going to increase its size and then change it to the color white and decrease its opacity and just kind of layer it in the background to give it some texture. I'm going to select the die lines and go to object, clipping mask, release. Using my artboard tool, I am going to select the outer bleed trim to form a new artboard. I am then going to delete the old artboard and go to file, export as JPEG. Once that's done, we can go back to Backdoor and select design online, which will bring up the editor and design mode. From there, I'm going to select die line mode and from the left, click upload and then upload the image. You can then adjust your image until it fits perfectly with the die lines on the screen. And once you're ready, you can hit 3D modeling at the top. From here, you can pick out your scenes. I selected snacks and then chose the one with circles. And once you click it, it will take a minute to load, but your package design should load up right there. And then you can use the arrows to adjust its positioning and where it kind of lays within the scene. And there it is, the finished package design. You can also export rendered photos using the button at the bottom of Pactora Editor. And if you really found this useful, you might wanna check out my design course, the Design Biz Academy at the Brief Collective, where I teach in-depth Illustrator tutorials just like this. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.